Oh, hi, it's Eric Edmund. We're coming into a stage now when the Europhiles are going to step up their propaganda. In particular, you're going to be hearing an awful lot from people who have never actually had a job, a proper job, all their lives. And by that, I mean people like uh, Shirley Williams and Mr. Clegg, of course, who have been living and making a jolly good living as part of the political elite uh, for many years. And they're going to be peddling basically propaganda lies. And the first one is this, this, this lie that three million jobs will be at risk if we leave the EU. Now, Tim Condon has published an excellent pamphlet debunking this. Three million jobs in the UK may or may not, and I think it's probably slightly less, depend on our trade with Europe. But it, the important thing is it is our trade with Europe that we have these jobs for, not by virtue of our membership of the EU. We traded with Europe for many years, and there was a stage back in the 14th and 15th centuries, roughly before the discovery of a new world, when the majority of our trade was with Europe and the Hanseatic League and things like that. So this, this idea that if we leave the EU, this trade will suddenly disappear is of course complete rubbish. We, many countries have exports to the, we make have to the EU without being members of the single market. We have exports to many other countries in the world without political union. And probably that comprises something like 55% of our exports now go to non-EU uh, countries. This is the truth, not what Clegg and Williams will be selling. It's a scare story. I can remember Williams peddling this story before Harold Wilson's 1975 uh, election. It was rubbish then and is rubbish now. If the Chinese can sell huge quantities of goods to the EU, why can't we? In fact, our trade with the United States exceeds our trade with France and Germany. The worst feature of the EU, of course, is the common agricultural policy. Now, given the emphasis we've had now on the cost of food and the horse burgers and all the rest of it, it's important to remember that the common agricultural policy costs every household in the UK £1,000 per annum. And this was known at the time when uh, Heath took us in, and I can remember as soon as we went into the EU, food prices jump. And who which group of our society are hit hardest by food prices? The poor. Not Mrs. Williams, certainly not. And not Mr. Clegg with his Spanish well-paid wife. It is the poor people of our society living in their council estates. They're paying the price for this. And this is intolerable, I feel. We have to get out. To get out of this common agricultural policy is crucial to the survival of our country and to the poor people in it. Now, it would be interesting to see what would happen if we did leave the EU. Our food would drop in price and our food processing industries would have access to far cheaper feedstock. So the end result is uh, actually they would become a lot more competitive. Now, for sure, the EU will impose uh, tariffs on our food, manufactured food exports, but it will be nothing like what these people like Williams and Clegg say it is. And we have to see that we are, will not be isolated in Europe because why should the Europeans isolate us? They would be losing huge markets, particularly for German manufacturers. Now, the UK is Germany's most important 
European trading partner, bigger than France and many other countries. And for that reason, they will of course continue to trade with us. But most significant of all though, is the Eurozone is a stagnant and diminishing economy. It diminishes in terms of our exports, which are now more and more going to the developing world. And it is a stagnant economy on its own in that it is not generating demand. That is why we see uh, GDP figures from the Germany this week, GDP down 0.6%, down France down 0.3%. My old English teacher used to say, you have to hit try and hitch your wagon to a star. Well, what we've got now, when we're members of the EU, we're hitched not to a star, but to a sinking ship. Thank you.